everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm showing you some more things that I picked up when I went to New York. I went to New York now in June, so it feels like a really long time ago. I've already done a whole video where I showed you things that I'd done from the drugstore, but today I've got things from Sephora, so the more higher end brands, but also Bath & Body Works, Target and Mac. So it's a real mixed bag. I think I'm gonna start off with the Bath & Body Works things. When we went, it was the semi-annual Bath & Body Works sale. So you get these cute little bags and we got a few candles and some other little bits and pieces. So the first one, which is probably one of my favorites, it's got three wicks and this is the Tiki Beach scented candle. The description of this says, it is a scent as warm as sun rays, a luxurious blend of vanilla musk, orchids and toasted coconut. It's a gorgeous, fresh, summery scent. Really, really like this. And I think the little tub's really cute as well. Then we picked up the Sweet Maui fragrance and this is Mango. And this says that it is a blend of mouthwatering mango, mandarin, orange slices and ruby red pomegranate seeds. And this one is a vibrant orange color and Thomas actually picked this one up. He, I've discovered, really likes the smell of oranges and this smells exactly like that. It's orangey, mango-y, exactly what it says, but this is probably going to be one that he likes to burn more than me because it's a little bit strong. It's a little bit too fruity for me, but he really likes it. We then picked up a couple that were in the sale and this one is called Beautiful Day and this one says that it is sun-kissed apple, wild daisies and fresh pink peonies. And this one is a vibrant green colour. And this smells really fresh and homely. It's not got anything that's too overpowering. The last candle we got is Watermelon Lemonade. And this one, the description is that it is watermelon, sparkling water and freshly squeezed Maya lemons. And this one is a really cute kind of baby pink colour, corally with a nice green sticker on. It's three wicks again, and this smells like watermelon. Really fresh and summery, and this one I think is gonna be really nice too. I then picked up a couple of their hand sanitizers because everybody says how amazing these are. They were really cheap, just a couple of dollars each, if that. And I picked up the scent Beautiful Day, which is the same as that candle, and also Japanese Cherry Blossom. I just think it's something handy to have in your bag. And then completely unnecessary, but I just couldn't resist the packaging. I chose some of the Foaming Gentle Hand Soaps, and the first one is Perfect Beach Day. And this one says it is watermelon, young coconut, and sparkling bergamot. I think that's how you say it. And then we also got the Sunrise Sale, which says it's fresh orange, crushed cranberries, and creamy vanilla. So three scents put together there that I think are going to be absolutely heavenly. I'm just going to quickly show you a piece of clothing because this is from Target. And although I showed you some, some beauty products that I'd bought from Target in the last haul video from America, I didn't show you the clothing because I wanted that to be just beauty. Whereas this one, obviously I've got candles, I've got some stationary bits to show you. So I thought I'd include this in this video. This was $22.99. This is the print of it. It's an elasticated waistband, so it's really, really comfortable. It's sheer from kind of like just below the bottom, so it's got a white underskirt underneath it, if you can see that. And then at the side here, it's got a split. Quite nice for the summertime, really girly, and I just love the print of this. Next, I'm going to show you the couple of things that I picked up from MAC. So the first thing I got was the Extended Play Lash Mascara in Endlessly Black. It's the one that's supposed to be really good for bottom lashes, but also kind of setting normal mascara that you don't want to smudge throughout the day. I got this primarily for my kit, so I can't wait to try it, and hopefully it will be really good and not smudge on those lower lashes. The thing that I got from MAC, which I'm most excited about, is this palette, and this is the eyeshadow palette in Warm Neutrals. So basically, it is a pre-filled palette. You've got some really nice kind of beigey colours here, a yellow, some golden tone ones, some nice cranberry bronzy shades, and then the darker ones here, and even a really nice olive green. Also from Sephora, I picked up the Sephora Favourites Bronze Bears All Kit, and this says that it's $109 in value, and this cost $39, so it was a massive, massive saving. And basically, Sephora quite often do these 
gift sets kind of boxes where they have lots of different mini sizes of things in here so that you can try them. So this one really appealed to me. I actually saw Sam um, from Pixie Woo had posted this on Instagram that she'd been and got it because she was in New York the same week I was and I just couldn't resist it because there's quite a few things in here that I wanted to try anyway. So in here you get all of these products. So there is a Tarte Contour Stick a Too Faced Chocolate Bronzer, the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal, an Urban Decay Duo Eyeshadow, so it's kind of like a gold one and a bronze tone, a Formula X Nail Varnish, which is Sephora's own nail polish brand, a Sephora Eyeliner, a NARS Lip Gloss and a Bite Beauty Lip Pencil and I just cannot wait to try these. I'm gonna make this into a blog post, I think, and kind of do a little mini review of each product, but I'm really excited to try this. Hi everyone, so I'm just at home editing this video and I've realized that I've got quite a lot of footage missing of the first bit of the stuff that I had to show you from Sephora, so I've kind of skipped a few things, but I will be posting them on my blog or Instagram and things like that, so anything that I didn't mention, I will mention somewhere else. There was just like another little bit of perfume and just a couple of things that I didn't mention. So I'm really sorry. I think the file got corrupted. I don't really know what happened, but hopefully it won't happen ever again because it's really annoying. Hope you're all enjoying the video. The next thing I got was again from the Isle of Doom and this is by Hourglass and this is the Indestructible Matte Lip Gloss. I got the shade Canvas and this is just a really nice soft pink colour, really really tiny and I just thought it would be really handy for my handbag if I was going out on a night out. It's just really small and dinky. This is the Hourglass Mineral Primer in the shade Veil. This is supposed to be a really gorgeous primer. It's oil free, paraben free, fragrance free. And then I've got a few lip products to show you. The first one is by Sephora and this is one of their cream lip stains which I've raved about before and this is one of their new colours that they have just brought out. It is in the shade. 03 and it's just a gorgeous corally pink colour and I really really like it and I can't wait to try this. And then the last lip product that I got was by Kat Von D and this is in kind of a similar shade to that one. This is in the shade Bachelorette and I kind of am wishing that I picked up more of these because I think I'm going to really like them. So it comes in the typical Kat Von D packaging and then it's this kind of colour lipstick which looks almost identical to the Sephora one, but they're not, they're not. This is again another li liquid lipstick. You can kind of see what I'm kind of into at the moment and um, really, really nice shade, gorgeous pink color. So I'm happy to have that. I just hope I'm not too happy to have it because I don't want to have to get more. Then I have a couple of skincare items and the first one is by Dr. Dennis Gross, I think that's how you say it, and this is the Alpha Beta Peel. And Caroline Hirons has spoken about this and says how amazing they are. So basically, you get a little packet like this, and it says, and in this one, you get five peels, five days to radiance. And these are specifically designed for first time peel users or for sensitive skin. It's a two step treatment each day, and the first one is a surface refiner, and the second one is the deeper treatment. And I will let you know how I get on with these. I've no idea really what I'm supposed to do with them. I think you put them on your face and then peel them off. I have no idea, but I'm excited to give them a go. I might feature them in a video if anybody's interested in seeing how you're supposed to use them. I also got something which has been on my list for so long, and this is the Kate Somerville goat milk moisturizer for sensitive skin and this is something that was quite pricey I think it was about $60 which is expensive but it's something that is completely absolutely adored on YouTube and in the blogging world and this is what it looks like it's got a twist off cap no, it's got a pull off cap and then you push this down and the moisturiser comes out the top. So really hygienic. I've never tried anything like this before. It's goat milk, so I have no idea what this is gonna be like. I'm just hoping it's a really nice moisturiser and it's the first thing that I've tried from Kate Somerville, so I'm excited to try it. 
I then picked up some of the Magic Elastics Snag Free Hair Bands because I don't tend to see these anywhere over here at the price that they are in Sephora. They're basically just clear elastic bands so when you tie your hair up and you don't want a really noticeable bobble, if you're doing plaits or anything like that, then these are just a really good thing to have and they're only about $3 as well. The last thing I got is from Living Proof and this is the Perfect Hair Day 5-in-1 Styling Treatment. We can get Living Proof over here, it's the brand that I think Jennifer Aniston kind of, she either owns it or co-owns it or she's got something to do with it anyway. Basically, this is a product that we can't get over here from the range and it's, I've heard amazing things about it. It says it's supposed to smooth, volumize, condition, strengthen and polish hair. It was quite expensive, but again, hopefully you get what you pay for. And that brings me to the end of the haul. I am so excited to start using some of this and it means I can start putting some of these things in videos for you and just kind of shake my makeup up a little bit. So I'm happy that I finally filmed it. If you have tried some of these things before, then please let me know in the comments what you think of them or if there's anything that you in particular have wanted to try for a long time so that I can get back to you on it and see what it's like, maybe review it on the blog and things like that. Today is also the day that the giveaway is closed, so I'm going to leave the names of the two people that won the Primark giveaway in the description box below, as well as a list of everything that I've mentioned here. So I will put their names down below and I'll also try and contact you if you have one. So thank you to everyone who entered. I really, really appreciate it. Have a lovely week and I will see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.